Hi everyone, this is Amelia Duran, your host in the Porthole to Justice, and I am I'm doing a little different topic today. I'm going to be talking about um, targeting and, you know, what it's like. What is it like to be one of these targeted people? Um, I have a very special guest with me today, a friend of mine who's been a really, I mean, just an awesome friend for like a year on Facebook, and we, you know, um, we all have our dreams, so with that being said, I want to introduce Frankie B to the Porthole to Justice. Hello. Hello, everyone. How are you? And happy Memorial Day to you all. So, welcome to the show. Oh, my gosh. So, you, um, you, we've actually been friends for, you said, about a year on Facebook? Yes. Yes, we have. Um, your story was definitely inspiring to me. One thing what made me, re- what stuck out about Amelia to me was her, the targeting situation that she went through that I also experienced, that I also experienced where I could definitely empathize and I could definitely relate and actually see where she was going through. So that is where the connection originated at, you know, um, and it let me know that, hey, I am not alone out here. You know, the same things that she went through were the same type of exact things that are continuing to happen to me today and that's been happening to me for the past year when I felt like I had no one or nothing and some way or somehow I was just able to I believe that it was my higher power that came and just it it sent Amelia in my path Amelia and also Zeph Daniels um right now it's been a year for me since I've noticed that I was targeted and for people, I mean, stop me if I'm talking too much or if I'm getting ahead of myself. Because, um, you know, with this situation right here, it can be so tedious to someone who doesn't understand it. Well, it, it can sound, it can just be everywhere, you know. So well, it's really, it's yeah. hard to explain it. But you're, not you just, know? but you're not just, you're not just sitting back and taking it. You are going to start your own show and your own platform to, to interview other targeted individuals, Right. Definitely. What I will be doing starting on my birthday, June the 8th, is I will be starting my own broadcast, my own podcast, and the outlet for other targeted individuals, which I like to call Awakened, to let them know that they are not alone. And together, we will fight. Together, we will rise. Together, we will empower. And together, we will overcome. We will overcome the sick, evil purity that has just great that I won't even call it grace that is just walking amongst us for no reason the thing that I don't understand about these people out here and you have to be a, a awakened individual which I like to call us to understand where I'm coming from I want to sit back and sometimes ask these gang stalking creeps why would you go out your way to just cough at someone or go out your way to harass and antagonize someone and you don't even know this person. Did you ever step back and did you ever stop and ask yourself, why am I doing this? Well, no, I, mean, really, and, I don't and I think it. I think these people feel a sense of superiority to judge over us or to police us. And they also project onto onto us some of their their, you know, own psychoses and and so you know we 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 end up experiencing something that isn't even about us <laughs> and isn't even what we're yeah, doing yeah it's something that's surreal <laughs> yeah 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 it's, it's, but you it's know what surreal. yeah and so my whole goal is my whole goal has been in the portal to justice is to help people put it on paper articulate it and fight back and what I what I liked about you and your voice is that you are you're like uh uh-uh, uh no way I see what you guys are doing I'm not gonna just sit back and take this <laughs> exactly and I'm not gonna sit up and curl up in no house and take this from none of them honey I fight back every day y'all like I do not curl up for these people these people know that I am a force to be reckoned with it and I'm a problem for them. I'm a very big problem for them, and they know that because I'm not going to sit there. I'm going to fight back. 
fighting back is like I call it slaying, honey. And it's not the Beyonce slay. (laughs) (laughs) Let's get that correct. The way that I slay, however I go, is to go out and make these people feel. If you're following me and I happen to turn around and make you jump, you felt something. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm coming for. But with my platform, what I want to do and what I am going to do with my platform is just give my targeted individuals a, a, a outlet. We don't have an outlet. We don't have no one that we feel like is there for us. Because this program that they have us in, this counter pro program, is so tedious. It's so sick that, say, for instance, you're sensitized to one of their calls. They mm-hmm. sensitize me to a cough. It's like this. Everywhere I go, it's a <coughs> cough that they do to me. And, to and me it's know. just to let you know that, that, that they're there. And, you know... Um, the thing is, is that you, I, I, for one, can vouch for the the whole hand signal thing. Like, I mean, these are like gang signals. These are like it's a it's a you know when I go to the courts or I go to sometimes you know when I'm advocating for parents and I'll go to like the appellate court and they'll be the clerks behind the desk and they'll be like coughing or they'll be like um, they'll be doing these hand signals to each other. And be like, oh, don't give her the court files. Oh, no, it's in the judge's chambers. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, if you can I, see right now, man, like, I'm out here in my backyard right now. And I stay in this uh, 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 big apartment complex where I'm gang stalked continuously. Right now, as we speak, I'm being gang stalked. <laughs> you know, like, I'm looking up right now. This guy's in the window staring at me, doing a signal. Another guy just came to the back door. He came out did a cough, went back in. You know, the man wants to come around. The pool doesn't close at 8 o'clock. He's around the pool checking gates and stuff now. Now, it's just little things like that that they do that they, they want to drive us crazy. But I'm here to let you all know that you are not crazy. And then, honey, you got to stand up. We cannot sit up here and we will not curl up and we will not be defeated and our life will not be deterred. You don't give up on life. You go out there and if you want to find love, you go and you find it. If you have a dream, you go and you pursue it. They want you to curl up and that is not something that I'm willing to do. And I want to empower other people. It's all about empowerment. And Amelia, I love it when you use that word on your broadcast, empowering people like you empower these mothers to keep going and to keep fighting for their kids and to wake up and you just empower people because you empower me our whole movement is about empowerment and one thing about these evil people out here they can't stand empowerment no and and, and I, i think and you know you're so spot on with that because um in fact they, they've even coined us as empowered individuals because our voices and, our, you know, we've come together. And even though we have no resources and we have no funding, we've come together collectively with our talents. And I notice that everybody, and I recognize this, and everybody that has, you know, um, come together for this effort, we all have so much talent. Um, it's unbelievable, yes. and that is what has made our our network, our little network, so special. And um, I'm looking forward to learning about you and what your talents are. Yes, um, I have a lot of talents now, a lot of talents. Um, but I like to call myself the Slayer. <laughs> That's <laughs> what I call myself whenever I go out. I, I like y'all. It was so deep for me at one time to where I would dedicate 24 hours a day. I would go out one day out of the whole month, and I would just go out to encounter these people head on. You know, I would go out and battle these people like on feet, on foot. Like last year during this time, I would battle them, y'all. Like, and when I say battle, I would go them head to head. If you're following me, I'm gonna follow you back. I would go out. I would do research. But- uh oh, I think we lost Frankie. Uh oh. Um. Okay, besides my most high, he played a big part in the in the climax. Can you hear me? Yeah, we lost you for just a Am second. Am I here? Hello. Yeah, you're. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. I can hear you. Let me sit in one spot. Okay, however, my significant other had played a very huge part in the climax of my situation. And I, it comes a point when you've been a targeted individual where for years you do not know that you're being targeted. Like, years you can be... This is one of my famous my famous metaphors. Say, for instance, I lived all the way in North Carolina. 
for all these years. I would walk home and I would see three rocks on the ground in a row. And I'd be like, oh, every time I'm walking home, I see these three rocks on the row in the ground. And I'm just like, oh, wow, I'm not paying any attention. You know, I get all the way to New York City. I'm on my way home. I see three rocks in a row. I'm not paying no attention. That's my good luck sign. My good luck sign. Well, it comes one day where you find out why all these years, them three rocks was in a row while you were walking home. Mm -hmm. And that is the most tedious thing. That it's just, it's mind baffling. It's, that's the point where it's meant to make or break you. It comes a point where they have this big circus. A big circus to where everywhere you turn, every corner you turn, they're everywhere. Everywhere. It, it, it was crazy for me. I just did not know that this world existed. You know, to find out that the world isn't really what it was, you know, it's a gift from God to me. You know, because I believe that everyone was born into this darkness. You know, but... People like ourselves, they just turned on music from the pool now. That's crazy, right? They turned on, they, <laughs> they see me. Yeah, that, 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 that's why I just pause like that. It's crazy. They see me out here talking, and they're probably listening to the broadcast. It looked like this man is in his house listening to our broadcast right now. Um, however, um, you know, it, it, it comes a point to where, oh, it made me lose my train of thought. Go well, ahead. you know, and that's the thing. You've got to just, you, you've got to learn almost to have blinders um, and, and just, you know, focus and not even let the paranoia get to you uh -huh. or even care. I mean, it, you just have yeah. to focus. And it's so important, especially when you're broadcasting or you're doing a show. Um, just to, you know, really have that laser focus and hone that skill because that's the one thing that's going to make your life fabulous and you, yourself great because for me, I, my world is everything, you know, and in all about everything that I do and, and, and that I, and that I, that I've created has been an extension of that. And I've noticed in myself that that has been something really positive for me. And so I just wanted to share that with you. Oh, thank you. And I'm definitely, I'm learning so much from you and from all of you, from you, Jeff Daniels, from everyone. I'm learning so much from you all because, like, this is something totally new to me. But we need a voice. You know, we need an outlet, you know, and we just have to stand together. Like I told you, that is my whole movement is to stand together and fight back and rise. Like we have to. Yeah. Like we have to. And like, honestly, we're winning right now. We're winning. And we just have to keep on keeping on. Like, as you see, we're winning if we keep and we're, out. we're winning and we're educating and we're informing mm -hmm. the public. And this is this is really an organic um, an organic effort to come, you know, provide a path and a road and provide sort of like a platform and a voice for people yes. that are highly aware and highly sensitive. So I, for one, I'm like hugely excited for your show. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Amelia. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely excited. It's been definitely in the better stages right now. Um, but on my birthday, which is I want to launch it, because how it all began was I actually have a movie trailer. I have a lot of things that I've been leading up to this. You I know, know um, and I get this feeling. <laughs> I just had this feeling about you. I think you're you've got a lot of talents that you haven't. Thank to the you. <laughs> I haven't even touched yet, right? Yeah. And, it, and it, it's amazing, you know, because I'm learning so much about myself. And I've learned from this experience that I've been going through. I've just been learning so much about myself. And I've just been learning to love myself more and more every day. You know, once you get that sync with yourself and you begin to discover who you really are, because uh, all we have is us. You mm -hmm. know, like at the end of the day. And, um... Honey, like I told you, I've just been really leading up to this. It, it actually started out as uh, uh, it was. Uh, I've been trying to find an outlet. You know what I'm saying? And by the grace of God, like this freaker thing. And when I seen how you and Zep and how y'all were doing it, I found out that's my outlet right here. Yeah. This is the way that I'm going to reach out. This is the way that I'm going to do it. Because I tried to. I've been working on a movie. I have mad trailers for the movie. I have so much footage to where I go out. I was going to do a 24-hour 
um, live type thing to where actually it's a 24 hour video of me going out into the scene and letting you see what's really going on out here. But you know, that was here. There, I may still do that. But however, this is the outlet. You know, I want to give other people. It's so crazy because you know our president Donald Trump. He recently went to the NATO the the meeting there. And he was speaking to some of the other global, uh, you know, global, uh, how do I say this, presenters at the NATO meeting. And and they're they're posting all these photographs online, Frankie, and they're, they're, they're doing all these hand signals. And 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 they're they're you can see them online. They're doing these hand signals and they're these gestures. At not not our president. Our president was being a, a, accused by the mainstream media media as being gruff or firm or what have you. But uh-huh. what I want to talk about is these hand signals are no different, folks, than what you see in, with yeah. our gangs. Our gangs, yeah, are in, yeah. you know, yeah. it's the same thing. What the gangs talk about? Yeah. Uh, the president of the United States has been gang stalked. He you know, and it's targeted. crazy. One one thing that I when I knew that he was being gang stalked is when they were on CNN. I don't even watch CNN no more. However, it was an article that they did to where they said that Donald Trump needed to be um, evaluated at a mental institution. <laughs> they sent a Ivanka Trump. They sent her a letter saying that her father needs to be evaluated in a mental evaluation that is a prime example of gang stalking that you is, know that um, one thing so i stay away from i stay away from yeah um, yeah and and you know what's so crazy um frankie we can see we can actually see now on tv our president being gang stalked yes yes yeah, and, and it's crazy. It's it's just crazy, and it's like, when is this gonna end? Like, it's like we like. I believe like it's gonna be a, a a time where it's gonna be a revolution. I really believe in my heart that it's gonna be a all out revolution. It's gonna be us against them. Well, like, I want to see. What I want to see your show. I want. I am so excited to see your show, and I support you one hundred percent. What's the Thank name of your you. show, Thank by you. the way? I don't even know the name of it. <laughs> the name of my show is going to be called The Awakened, and it, it's going to be, it's, the name is going to be called The Awakened, which stands for the targeted individuals and the outlet for the targeted, Awakened, outlet for the targeted, because I want to have the name to where if you're just looking it up or something like that, where it will be able, you'll be able to reach out, you'll be able to get it, you know, so I'm going to definitely, it's going to be called The Awakened, an outlet for the tar- for targeted individuals. Okay. But I do want to have the Awakened is going to be the name of the show. But in subtitle, it's going to be like wow. in parentheses. This is going to be yeah. awesome, folks. This is going to be an awesome show. I encourage you yes. to look up Frankie. He's on my friends list. F-E-B, frankly, fr- uh, Frankie. And um, yes. we are going to be showcasing him in the Porthole to Justice. Frankie, welcome oh. To thank the you network, so girlfriend. Yes, thank you. I'm just really so excited. Like, you don't even understand. I'm so excited. I'm so nervous right now, too. But I'm definitely excited. And, like, Amelia, you are such an inspiration to me. You're an inspiration. And because of people like you, it allows a light to shine on, on others. You know, it allows us to say, you know what? I can do this. You know what I'm saying? It, it gives us empowerment. It, uh, it reaches back to empowerment. You empower me so much to be a better me, oh, you know, oh and to, to, <laughs> to step out on faith. Step out on faith. That's you right. Know? That's right. Courage and faith. Uh, All right. Well, yes. I, you know, I, I just wanted to get you on the show briefly because oh, I... thank you. Yeah, I wanted to induce, uh, introduce you to everybody... Um, Hi, everyone. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you. Thank you so much for having me on the show. I definitely appreciate it. Um, Everyone, look out for the Awaken, an outlet for targeted individuals coming on June the 8th, which is my birthday. Um, You can definitely reach me via email, S-U-V-V-28 at gmail.com or AOL.com or iCloud.com. And I'm definitely on Facebook. My page is public. It's F. As an EFF, 
B E E Rose R O S E. Um, and I gotta tell you about that name, Amelia. When we get off, how did I, I came up with that? That's actually my whole name. <laughs> but um, actually, you can reach me through there, and I'm open. And if you are a targeted individual and you want your story to be heard, or you just need somewhere to come and listen to, then definitely get in contact with me because I'm open and I'm here. And like I said, it's all about empowerment and standing up and fighting this together. And um, I'm here to thank you. You're so welcome. All right. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, um, stay with me. I'm going to talk to you a little bit after the show, so stand by. Um, Everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. You can find us on Facebook on the Porthole to Justice. You can also find us on Twitter and Instagram. All right, guys, and if you want to reach out, you can reach out at Porthole to Justice at Yahoo.com. All right, guys, that's been another episode of Off the Cuff.